Republican state representative in New Hampshire has been ordered to pay two drag queens big bucks after publicly and repeatedly defaming them. This is State Senator David Love, who is now settled with the two drag queens, Robert Champion and Michael McMahon, after a two year court fight following Love's accusation that both men had inappropriate relationships with children. The actual accusations are more detailed than that, and we will get to that. But here is State Senator David Love. It doesn't matter that this is who he is, and yet it kind of feels like it matters. When you find out how much he has to pay, I don't know why it makes it better, but it does. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna challenge it. I'm just gonna go with it. I love the way he looks there. Anyway, in the end, he has to pay out. He also had to admit that the claims were completely false. And so this began all the way back in February of 2022. So he made these accusations while introducing a bill that would mandate library employees and volunteers obtain criminal background checks. Because remember, they're in a multi year campaign to pretend that anyone who educates kids or hangs out near them is a pedophile. And so they're constantly demonizing librarians and all that. A storm is tearing up the digital media industry. Only our audience can save us in these difficult times. Help us reach our goal of 100,000 new members at tyt.com slash team. So Champion and McMahon had participated in drag queen story hours, which are obviously the greatest threat to American kids that we've ever experienced as a country. Love accused Champion, who appeared as Monique too soon in a story time event in Nashua in 2019, of being a quote, convicted sex offender, which is a highly specific claim to make. The lawmaker also accused McMahon as Clara Devine of quote, rubbing butts with children and quote, just really going way too far at another event in Derry in 2021. So these are false claims. And despite being told by these two individuals that these claims are false and you need to stop saying them, he kept making the claims. Not only did the two drag queens tell him to stop, local officials, community members challenged him saying these things are not accurate, but he kept saying them. That's the part of this story that we would classify under the umbrella of effing around. And we all know what part comes after that, the paying. He had to pay $200,000. Dollars. So yes, Champion and McMahon secured a two hundred thousand dollars settlement and a public retraction. Now, one hundred thousand dollars per drag queen that you defamed is a big hit for a regular person, and also I think should be the standard going forward. I think that when you spread lies about drag queens, minimum hundred thousand dollars per queen is what you should have to pay out. Now, in addition to the money, as we said, he did also have to retract his statements. It's not the best statement though. So he said, after being provided with inaccurate information, information that I failed to verify, I publicly accused Robert Champion, aka Monique Tassoon, of being a registered. Okay, we've been through that. I have since learned that those assertions were completely false. I wish to publicly retract those statements and apologize to Robert and Michael. I have agreed with monetary judgment against me for 100,000 for Robert and Michael each. I love the wording of that last bit. I have agreed to it. Like you were like some active participant. No, you're being forced to pay up the money because you were worried that you would have to pay more if you didn't agree to that. That's all it is. But also, while this is technically like supposed to stand in for an apology, um, it says after being provided with inaccurate information. And then I have since learned, no, you chose to make it about this. You chose that. And despite many people, including those individuals, trying to educate you about the lies, the defamatory lies that you were spreading, you persisted with it until there were legal and financial consequences. So don't pretend that like, oh no, I've just been led astray by the news. And I'm so glad that I can now say things that are true. No, you believed at that point that your political interests were being served by telling things that you knew to be lies to the public to get your way politically. And again, it was only when there were consequences that he stopped. So going forward, we need to make those consequences happen more quickly. That's the only solution from what I can see.
And by the way, he's not the only person that has had to pay out for telling lies. He hasn't even paid the most. Back in May, a jury awarded Idaho drag performer Eric Posey more than $1.1 million after a right wing influencer falsely accused him of flashing his genitalia at children. In January, over in the UK, a judge ordered a conservative commentator to pay Colin Seymour, aka Crystal, a drag race UK queen, $200,000 after falsely calling him a pedophile. And I, like the phrase you love to see it gets thrown around a lot, but I could not love this more. We are in the thick of years of these totally fact free accusations being made against all sorts of groups, drag queens being one of the most common. There need to be big consequences financially. And honestly, it should go beyond just the financial because only by making examples of some of these people who are not just getting things wrong. They are making their political and their media career off of these attacks only by making them pay way more than they make by making the claims. Are you going to actually have a change of the situation? And so it is good to see some actual consequences, particularly for this individual. Can we put up his photo one more time? Again, I don't know why, but it makes it more satisfying. It looks like he just found out how much he has to pay as they snap that photo.